Now to believe that some things can bring you bad luck, like a black cat or a crow or the number 13 or a broken mirror, or I don't know what. This goes against two things in Islam. A, a belief and a practice. This contradicts the idea of bad luck, that certain things bring bad luck. They contra this contradicts an Islamic belief and an Islamic practice. The Islamic belief is that the only thing that, the only authority in this world is whom? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can a broken mirror have an effect on your life? Or on your marriage? Or on your journey? How can it have an effect? Or a, or a crow? Or a black cat? Or the number 13? The only authority in this life is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَا مُعَثَّرَ فِي الْوُجُودِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ these things have no effect. There's a hadith by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa that says, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. He who is affected by bad luck, meaning, for example, if he sees a black cat, he thinks it's bad luck, so he stops doing what he's doing. He doesn't get married. He doesn't go on a journey. He, don't, he doesn't start that business. The Prophet says this is a form of shirk. This is a form of shuk. Because you think that that black cat or that crow or that broken mirror or the number 13 will have an effect on you. That's ridiculous. The only one that can have an effect on you is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is one. It contradicts an Islamic belief. And number two, it contradicts an Islamic practice. And that's tawakkul. Tawakkul ala Allah. You're about to get married. A, a mirror breaks, you stop? Where's the tawakkul? We are taught in Islam to tawakkul, to depend on Allah and only Allah. And not to be afraid, not to worry. Depend only on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِنْ يَنْصُرُكُمُ اللَّهُ فَلَا غَالِبَ لَكُمْ وَأَنْ يَخْذُلُكُمْ فَمَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يَنْصُرُكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ If Allah supports you, then no one can harm you. And if Allah does not support you, if Allah neglects you, then no one can support you. And believers should depend on Allah SWT. Depend on Allah. Don't pay attention to things that you think will bring bad luck. There's no such thing. This is superstition, this is nonsense. Depend on Allah. قُلْ لَنْ يُصِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا هُوَ مَوْلَانَا وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكِّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ This is a concurrent theme in the Qur'an, that we should depend on Allah. We should do tawakkul. We shouldn't pay attention to these things that we think bring bad luck. قُلْ لَنْ يُصِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا Say that nothing will happen to us unless it has been destined by Allah to happen to us. If it's been destined, it will happen. If not, you think that a broken mirror has an effect on you? Or the number 13 has an effect on you? Absolutely not. You might say, well, once, you know, it actually happened. Something brought me bad luck. You know, I saw a bad sign. And indeed, something bad happened to me. A mirror was broken, and indeed that brought me bad luck. Or I saw the number 13. I traveled on, for example, Friday the 13th, and I got in an accident on that day. It happened, it's real. No, it's not real. Why? The Imam tells us, Imam Sadiq. He says that sometimes these things that you think bring bad luck, it has a psychological effect. It has a psychological effect. So if you, if you, for example, see a broken mirror, and you think it will bring you bad luck, you will translate a lot of things in a negative way. In a negative way. If in the beginning of your marriage, you think that this marriage is bad luck for some reason, you will give up on the marriage because thinking that this marriage is doomed anyway, that's why you will not make an effort. You will not make an effort to fix that marriage 
And you will say, yes, that marriage was bad luck or so-and-so brought me bad luck. No, it wasn't bad luck. But it was, it had a psychological effect on you. You gave up. You translated certain things to believe that that had bad luck. Rather, it didn't have bad luck. Imam Sadiq salam says, At-tayra ala ma taj'alaha. Inha wantaha tahawwanat. Bad luck, it depends on how you treat it. If you pay, don't pay attention to it, nothing will have bad luck. But if you pay attention to it, if you think about it, then yes, it will have a bad effect on you. Meaning what? It's all in the head. It's all in your mind. Will you allow it to have an effect on you? Or you don't allow it to have an effect on you? It's all in the head. It's all in the mind. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. If you are afraid of bad luck, things, if you are afraid that some things will bring you bad luck, the hadith say, then the cure is tawakkul, at tawakkul ala Allah. Depend on Allah in all of your deeds, in all of your actions. You're afraid of this, you're afraid of that, you're afraid that this will bring you a bad luck. You're afraid of certain dreams. They mean bad luck. No, depend on Allah. Do everything for Allah.